Feeling good. Putting it on the end of camp. Been a good camp. I've been grinding, so March 25th. Ready to let the bell ring. Out at the boxing gym. We'll go home for a minute, then we got a media workout later on at Culture Kings. Man, I just pulled up to Culture Kings, got the squad with me. About to go ahead and get this media workout in. Stay tuned. Easy call, easy motherfucking call. Set. 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 Everything in here is going to be an exclusive piece. Uh, one on one pieces are all out through this room. What up, y'all? This is Caleb Plant. We're here at Culture Kings here in Las Vegas doing a media workout tonight. We got a collab with uh, Minimal and some merch, two pairs of cargo pants, two shirts, a hoodie. We got D Smoke in the building. He's going to be performing a couple of songs. We got some giveaways. It's big, man. Make sure you tune in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, we up in Vegas at uh, the Culture King store with my boy Caleb Plant. We just got off stage, or we got off the ring, you feel me, out the ropes. And I just performed for the, uh, for the, you know, media workout. My man is ready, he's in shape, shoulders broad, and we ready to go. Big love, you know, much respect to everybody that stepped through the ropes. So we're gonna have a trivia question. We'll see who knows. So what is the name of the venue for Plant vs. Benavides on March 25th? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Team Plant. We got them all here today as well. Caleb's coaches and, and trainers. And co-trainer Richie Plant. Him and Caleb started this thing a long time ago when Caleb was about nine years old, right? Long time ago. And uh, I just want to ask you, Richie, how surreal is this moment now, being in Las Vegas, hosting a media workout on the Las Vegas Strip, and getting ready to fight at MGM Grand Garden Arena? 
I mean, this is what you start boxing for, to get to this level. So, yeah, we're happy. A man, a few words. I like it. Any thoughts on the Mexicans for plant kind of phrase that's going around social media? And, uh, yeah. Have yeah, you seen it? Yeah, there's been a lot of it. A lot right. of them, you know. Raza for plant, you know, Mexicans for plant. So definitely feeling a lot of the Latino love. Definitely appreciate all you guys, you know, showing up, supporting, tuning in. And uh, March 25th, we got a big one. Everything preachy, baby. Uh, it's pretty lit in here right now, you know. I feel like this is something new for, for boxing, you feel me? Like, public media day, pretty dope. Pretty dope. Hey, let's go, baby. All right, did you guys enjoy that video workout by Kayla Flynn? Let me hear you scream! You went and made this fight with David Benavidez happen. What is the motivating factor behind that determination? Give me that mic. Let me get some room. No, uh, first off, just want to appreciate everybody for coming out, man. It means a whole lot. Love all you guys, man. Um, you know, media workouts. Media workouts is usually just the media involved and the gym shut down. But, um, you know, me and my team, we thought it'd be important to, you know, get you guys more involved. We feel like fans are, you know, a key point in boxing. Y'all what, what makes the world go around when it comes to the boxing world. I definitely appreciate y'all, appreciate all the support. So um, we wanted to give you a show, put on a show for you. You guys deserve to see the best fighting the best. I want to continue to do that, not just for y'all, but obviously to cement my own legacy. You know, I got a daughter, Charlie. I want to show her what hard work looks like firsthand. And um, you guys as well, you know, if you got a dream, if you believe in something, if you love something, just because you come up short, just because you may have a setback, you got to keep chasing that dream, man. So appreciate y'all. Thank you. Fixer calling this a 50-50 fight. What can fans expect to see from you on March 25th? They can expect to see a show. They can expect to see a show. You know, obviously my last outing, you seen what we did. And, um, you know, he was talking a whole lot. So I had to reach over and snatch that boy's soul out of his chest. And March 25th, you know, David, he's been talking a lot, and he's gonna have to pay for that. You wanna ask him the trivia question? Yeah, Y'all know Reed made my strong point, so uh... 2020, I fought in Nashville, Tennessee. What was the name of the opponent, and what was the name of the venue? Don't shout it out. If you shout it out, I'm gonna whoop your Nope, nope. It was Bison? Bison. Bison. Oh, who got it? 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 Who and uh, no, I just appreciate my dad for everything. He sacrificed everything he's done for me. My my coach, Brett, man. Um, obviously, my wife, Jordan. Let's give Jordan a round of applause. She does a great job today. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Wade, Tony Brady, uh, Katrina, my massage therapist. What's up with the mic? Uh, Nick, you know, my whole team. 
Couldn't do it without you guys, so I got a lot of love. Thank you. Let's give it up one more time for Caleb Clay. Man, today was legendary. It was awesome. I don't think a fighter's ever done something like this before. We took over Culture Team on the Las Vegas Strip at Caesars Palace. We turned up. We showed out nice. What up, man? Caleb Plant just finished up the media workout. We had a big turnout. Perfect night.